Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Catacombs. Well, it's happened again. This week, the Vatican came out with another statement that certainly seems to side with the left and the progressives in this country. This time, the Vatican consists of Father Federico Lombardi, the director of the Vatican Press Office, during a personal interview with, with Vatican Radio, shared his personal opinion that there are too many guns in America and that Barack Obama and his administration are absolutely right to try to put greater curbs on them through the gun control initiative. Now, whether or not Father Lombardi has any idea of the hornet's nest into which he's just placed himself is unclear. And by that I mean I don't know if he's aware of the nuances of the argument. Does he realize, for example, that on the right, on the pro-gun side in America, you have millions, literally, of pro-family, pro-life, pro-God folks who are trying to retain the right to defend their hearth and home, their children and their family, family and their property. And then on the left, conversely, you have rabid liberals, you have progressives, people who are in favor of the new uh, one world government, people who are in favor of big government period and restricting our, the rights and the civil liberties of the American people. Does he realize how polarizing that is and how he's just sort of waded in now on the left side? He's, he's, he's very much disappointed those few Catholics who even bother to go to church anymore in this country. He's essentially, he's broken their hearts. He stabbed them in the back with this. This is a, a very difficult moment for them. The Protestant conservatives in this country are disgusted with Rome again. Uh, and the left is jeering and laughing at the useful idiots that the Vatican sometimes seems to want to be. Now, of course, we're not talking about the Holy Father. We're not even talking about high-ranking curial cardinals. We're talking about a priest, Father Lombardi, sharing his personal opinion. But the New York Times and CNN and the rest aren't going to wait around and, and, and look for those clarifications. To them, it's just the church. It's the Vatican. It might as well be a papal encyclical in favor of gun control in America, as far as the media are concerned. And this is a great concern for all of us. What do we have? 55 million dead babies just in this country since Roe v. Wade. We have the most pro-choice, pro-abortion, pro-death president in the history of this country. We have arguably the most pro-homosexualist politician in the history of the universe in Barack Obama. And the Vatican says nothing this week about all that. Instead, the Vatican comes out and endorses this man's plans to strip civil liberties from God-fearing, pro-life, pro-Christ American citizens. What are we to make of this? Are they aware, as I say, to repeat, are they even aware of what they've done to the reputation of the church amongst conservative Protestants in this country? I have no idea. Of course, we at Remnant Underground absolutely support the idea of the Catholic Church calling for less violence calling for some restrictions on, on, the, on the insanity of war, for example, that's going on throughout the world. And just in, in that sense, we, we agree. So it makes sense that the, church, the Vatican would come out, the church would come out and say, listen, Christ is the Prince of Peace. He who lives by the sword will die by the sword. And, and sort of caution along those lines. That makes perfect sense. And we at, the, at Remnant Underground certainly are not saying that we believe everybody should arm up and shoot our way out of this mess and that we can defend ourselves against the government. And this is, this is the rhetoric of those who have seen too many Steven Seagal movies and John Wayne movies. It's not going to work that way anymore. We're very cognizant of the fact that the Second Amendment, which we defend here at Remnant Underground, as conservatives, we defend this. But we're also very cognizant of the fact that this was written, this was put together at a time where we are talking about muskets. Muskets for the Minutemen, muskets for the folks that are in government. And it was very easy to create this sort of level playing field with respect to restrictions against government. That's all changed now. And sensible gun-owning Americans know that. We're not calling for the right to bear bazookas. We're not calling for the right to bear drones. As we know, the government now has drones floating all over the place. If they want to take you out or to take me out, take our families out, they will. And all the so-called assault weapons in the world are not going to change that. So what is this fight about, this fight over guns? Obviously, the government is not afraid of us and our deer rifles and our semi-automatic, even our AR-15s. They're not afraid of those, right? They can make us disappear if they want. So we are not so myopic or silly or short-sighted that we're thinking still in terms of 
the Second Amendment 1776. So what are we talking about? What we are talking about is an ideological warfare. And this is where the Vatican interfering or interjecting itself is so problematic. Barack Obama is not talking about hunting. He's not talking when he talks about taking away our guns or more of our guns. He's not talking about even removing our ability to def defend ourselves, although indirectly that's what it's about. First and foremost, as every responsible conservative gun owner should know, what this is about is our independence, our ability to have our own pro private property, to raise our own children, perhaps even to educate them at home, to grow our own food in our own gardens, to shoot our own meat, legally of course, uh, to hunt, to work the land, to, if need be, defend our home, defend our heart, defend our children, defend our wives, defend our property against someone who's trying to attack it. This is part of our, of our rights before God and before our, before our country. That's what they want to take away. Because if we can do all of that, if we're able, that's subsidiarity at its, best, at its finest. If we are able to do that and have exercise that sort of independent living, then what need have we for a strong central government? And by extension, obviously, what need do we have for a one world government or the so-called new world order? None, and they know it. And Barack Obama pretty much admitted that when he was running for president the first time. When he disparaged, he spoke, he spoke very ill against those who are toting Bibles and toting guns down south. He's, he's as much as admitting it, there's an ideology that they want to stamp out in this country. It's an ideology that gun ownership represents. It isn't the militia. It isn't fear for the shootings such as have the ter terrible tragic shootings such it ha as, as it's just happened recently in Connecticut. What do we think should happen about those shootings? Absolutely nothing. They're very rare. They're horrifying and they're tragic, but they're, they're very rare. They're happening very infrequently. And what should happen is obvious. The, gov the, the government school system, the indoctrination centers around the country called public schools, need to start teaching morality again, need to start, start bringing God back into schools and so forth. And it wouldn't hurt to put a few concealed weapons on certain uh, personnel inside the schools as well. We support that, of course. It makes sense. It's going to be a deterrent. So that's, what, that's, that's not what the, the, what the chief concern over this gun control issue is. And I think most honest people on the right and the left realize that it's not. It's about sort of the beginnings, the nascent stages of a totalitarianism, of an ideological warfare going on by powerful government against the citizens of this country. So I'm sorry, Father Lombardi. You're wrong on this one. Please, if you don't understand the intricacies of this debate, if you think you got it, then maybe you don't, we would beg and ask and before God pray, please, don't interject yourself. Don't alienate the base. Don't alienate those who are supporting what Benedict is trying to do through a restoration of Catholic identity and restoration of the mass and restoration of sanity, if you will. That's very, very important. So very disappointed over what's happened with the Vatican, but also encouraging all of our viewers to realize and to remember when we hear the Vatican did this or that, there's no binding authority there. We're perfectly agree and we're perfectly able and really obligated to disagree with poor Father Lombardi's statement regarding the, the endorsement of President Obama's uh, civil liberty destroying initiative to uh, move in on um, the, the right and the ability to bear arms and defend ourselves because again, of the larger issues that are at stake. For the Rendered Underground and from the Catacombs, thanks very much. This is Michael Matt, and we'll see you next time.